Shalom Israel, Shalom, Shalom Israel. All praise to the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. Love, peace, and grace to the twelve tribes of the children of Israel that are scattered in all four corners of the globe. Remember, our responsibility and our mandate in Arise, O Israel, is to awake the true biblical Hebrew Israelites to their true identity, the so-called black people, the so-called African-Americans, the so-called Igbos, the so-called Biafrans, the so-called South Cameroonians, the so-called Ashanti in Ghana, the so-called black people that went through the transatlantic slave trade. You are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Our mandate is to wake you up to your true identity and re remind you that you need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandment of our Father, the Elohim of Israel, Almighty Yahweh. That you need to come back to His glory. You need to come back to our power because our salvation is at hand. We are about to leave this place. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. We are the servants of the Most High God. The elects are waking up all over the four corners of the globe, just as we were scattered, just as the Bible has already prophesied it. At the later days, which is now, we were going to wake up in the land of our captivity. And so doing, Mosiah is going to call the shot and call it to an end, meaning that the so-called Idumeans, the so-called white people, the descendant of Esau, who are ruling the world right now, the Bible called them the wicked, their time is up. Their time is wrapping up. Destruction is coming. The Third World War is about to start. The Bible prophecy is true. Everything that has been outlined in the book of life is written down so the true biblical Hebrew Israelites will be able to wake up to their identity and will be able to regain the understanding of the scriptures. So we will be able to run away and separate ourselves from all those fake religions that are out there. Christian churches, all those religions, Islam, name it. We will separate ourselves away from them and come back to our higher power. When we do that, we are going to be able to guarantee ourselves salvation. When Mosai sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to come back here with the army and thousands of angels to rescue the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So my brothers and sisters, the so-called black people, African-Americans, the so-called true biblical Hebrew Israelites, Biafras, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So this is the time for you to step up and wake up from your slumber and repent and start keeping the law, statutes and commandment of the Messiah to the best of your ability because our ancestors broke those laws. That is the same reason why we are where we are today. So for us to receive salvation, we must recognize who we are, realize that we were the one that was given the law, status and commandment of the Most High God in Mount Sinai when Moses took our ancestors out from Egypt. And we made a vow, we made a blood covenant with the Elohim of Israel that we were going to keep those laws. So right now, our teaching today depends on returning back to Mosiah. That is why we call the topic we must return to our power to receive salvation through Yahweh Shai. Remember, just like I said, the Third World War is about to kick off. We are following the prophecy. We are following the prophecy. Yahweh Shai told us that we should watch and pray. So you need to always keep the scriptures beside you and you need to always check out the current affair. You need to fast, pray and fast and watch and pray and also prophesize and teach the scriptures so other Israelites that are scattered in all four corners of the world, they would be able to wake up. My people, we do not have much time. We do not have much time. Our time is up. We need to get ourselves ready. We need to get our family members ready. We need to come back to the law, statutes and commandment of our power. So we will be able to reassure or guarantee ourselves salvation when Yahweh Shai whom the word called Jesus Christ and the army of angels will be here. My people, your salvation that you have been seeking for, 
the kingdom of heaven that you have been waiting for is about to be restored. It's about to be established. You need to get ready. Get your pen and pad ready and get your King James Bible ready. We are going to share the scriptures today. As the servant of the Most High God, it is an opportunity and a thing of joy and a privilege to serve Mosai and to serve you, Israelites, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Do not relent. Do not lose faith. Do not lose hope. Remember, we are victims of faith and we are victims of hope. Our hope in Yahweh Shai is highly recommended, is highly required, and is highly needed right now. Get your pen and pad ready and get your King James Bible ready. I want to make it clear to you that you will never, you will never find the truth. You will never receive salvation if you keep going to all those fake churches. I double dare you and I guarantee you because I stand in the content of the scriptures when I say everything I say and I can prove it from the scriptures. So right now we are going to go back and focus on the topic today. The topic, like I said, is we must return to our power, which is Almighty Yahweh, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. We must return to our power to receive salvation through his son, Yahweh Shai. Countless of thousands of the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are waking up in numbers across the four corners of the globe. My people, time is up. Time is up. Let's jump into the scriptures right now. Get your pen and pan ready, please. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And I read, and the scripture says, For the word of God is quick. The power of God, the word of God is quick and sharper than any two-headed sword, piercing even to the divide, dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and the joints and marrow, and it's a this is kind of the thought and intent of the heart. Israel, the enemies of Israel, the Idumeans and other nations. When we read the Bible and we break down the content of the Bible, they do not like it because this Bible is only written for the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, the so-called African-Americans, the so-called Biafras, the so-called black people that are scattered in all four corners of the globe through transatlantic slave trade and other slave trade in history. This Bible is for you and it was written by you and it was inspired by your father in heaven. All that countries and other nations and all the religions, they do not like to know and to receive or hear the interpretation of the scriptures. That is why all the social medias, they are having problem receiving the truth from the men of the Lord. They are having problem accepting the fact and the truth and the biblical breakdown and understanding of the scriptures from the men of the Lord. So do not be surprised when our network got interrupted or even taken out of the air. Why? Because the truth is coming out of who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are and how they are going to be saved by their God, their power. The so-called UFO is the angels of the Messiah God and they are about to rescue us. Yahweh Shai is coming with the angels. So they are going to take us out. So we are preparing and waking up our people and the whole world do not like it. So this Bible is like a two-headed sword. It pierces the heart of the people that does not like the children of Israel, of the people that are not teaching the truth to the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, of the people that do not want anybody to know who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of are today. Most especially the children of Israel. Idumeans, the Esau, the descendant of Esau, they do not like when we break down the Bible. That is why they are attacking, attacking all our channels. They are trying to slow us down and take us off the air. But they do, they do not. One thing they do not understand is that they cannot do anything against the truth, only for the truth. So once they successfully take us out of the channel, out of the air, that means we have done our work. That means the elect has been woken up. That means. Our departure is near. That said, let's go to the book of, let's go to, once again, the book of uh, Revelation. Chapter 7, verse 4, and I read. 
I had the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All the tribe of the children of Israel. So salvation is only for the so-called true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. The people that went through the transatlantic slave trade. Salvation is for you. Now I want to make something clear. We have what we call confusion of faces. Those people that went through the transatlantic slave trade and other slave trade in history as a punishment for disobeying God. They are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. However, where they went, they went to other nations and they made children in those nations. Their seed multiplied in other nations. So you are going to see our people that look exactly like a white people. You're going to see our people that look like Asian people. They are also the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible because the seed is from their father. And their fathers are the Israelites that were scattered in all four corners of the globe. So if any Israelite man or any so-called black people go out there and impregnate anybody from another nation, that seed are the children of Israel. They are the one the Bible called the confusion of faces. So sometimes we are not going to look exactly how we are naturally supposed to look. We might look like other nations, but we are going to know who you are according to your spirit. And Mosiah is coming back to separate the true Hebrew Israelites from the rest of the other nations when he returns. So if your spirit is accepting what I'm teaching, we are going to know who you are. You are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. That is why we are spiritual. That is why we call on the name of God. That is why anytime we do whatever we do, we put God first. Even when we are doing bad things, for those of us that are still in sin, which we are encouraging you to repent because destruction is coming. Even when we are doing bad things, we still try to pray and call the name of the Most High God. So we are spiritual because those that worship me, worship me in truth and in spirit. So the true biblical Hebrews are spiritual, but they are not in truth because they are still deceived in all those Christian churches. The Christian churches are teaching them lies. That is, This is when the Bible is coming out now. The men of the Lord are standing in all four corners of the world right now. We are teaching on social media. We are bringing out the truth from the scriptures. We are teaching the truth. And the truth is the only thing that will set you free and get you salvation. That is the whole point of making this video all the time. To wake up our people so they will not be consumed and drowned in blindness and in lies that have been perpetuated and taught to them by all these fake religion, especially Christian churches. All those pastors that teach in all those Christian churches, they are all fake and liars. My people, if you want to be free from the destruction of the enemy, if you want to be free from the discrimination, subjugation, marginalization, bad treatment by the enemies of Israel, the so-called other nations. This is your time to wake up and repent so you will be able to receive salvation. Salvation that is going to get our people to a better place is about to happen. As the scripture said, let's go to the book of Revelation again, chapter 7, verse 4. And I, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty-four thousand of the all the tribe of the children of Israel. So this is the proof that the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are about to receive salvation. And they are the only people that will be saved because the law was given to them. And they broke the law and they were cursed. And the curse can be found in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 from uh, chapter 28 from verse 1 to 68. And now they are coming back to their true identity. We are now coming back to the law that we our ancestors broke. So we are the ones that are going to receive salvation from the rest of the enemies because we are the ones that are going through a lot because of our disobedience to our power. So this is why we made our topic today that we must come back to our power for us to receive salvation because salvation is only for the black people. White people do not need salvation. They are already ruling the whole world. Stop listening to all those fake Christian churches. God does not love everybody. God only loves the children of Israel. He made it clear. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And I read, And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. 
the gate of the kingdom of heaven is 12, which is the 12 son of the children of Israel, the children of Jacob, which are the two biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible today. The gate of the heaven, uh, uh, kingdom of heaven that is going to be built and established on, here on earth is 12, and the angels are going to be guiding the 12 gates. So which gate is other nation going to enter through? There is going to be other nations in our kingdom, don't get it twisted. But they are going to come through the children of Israel, and they are going to be servants and handmaids. They are going to be slaved in the kingdom of heaven. Yes, let me prove it to you right now. Remember, the Bible says there is going to be 12 gates, and it's going to be the names of the children of Israel. So if you are from the tribe of Judah, the gate will say Judah. If you are from the tribe of Ishaka, it's going to say Ishaka. If you are the tribe of Benjamin, it's going to say Benjamin, and so on and so forth. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1 to 2. And I read, this is to prove to you that we are going to be the one that's going to go into the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be definitely our homeland, which is Jerusalem. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Israel, the so-called Biafras, the so-called African-Americans that are scattered all over the world, in Jamaica, in, in Bahamas, in Barbados, everywhere you are, even in Brazil, even in China, even in Iraq, we are all there. In Yemen, we are there. We are at the bottom of the pyramid. God says that he's going to have mercy on you. How are you going, God is going to have mercy on us if we are not in punishment, if we are not at the bottom. He's going to have mercy on us because we are at the bottom right now. That's what you guys don't understand. Our problem, our present day predicament is spiritual. So we are going to receive the mercy of the, our Father, the Elohim of Israel. Remember, everybody knows that God chose Israel. But your Christian pastors are lying to you and tell you that everybody is Israel. How can everybody be Chinese? How can everybody be white people? It doesn't make sense. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. We were scattered. Our, our uh, knowledge of who we are were taken away from us during the time we were serving our penalty, our, our, our punishment. Right now, we are going to the end. Mosai is waking us up, as the Bible said. So it says here, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. I told you, the twelve gate in the kingdom of heaven that is going to be here, built here on earth. It's going to be the 12 names of the 12 tribes of children of Israel. For you to be there, for a white person to be there, they are going to be there as slaves. For an Asian man to be there, they are going to be there as slaves, and servant, as, as servants and handmaids. They are going to go through our gate. Our gate, the people they are serving, they are going to go through their gate to enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Bible made it clear here. It says, the strangers shall join with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the strangers will cleave to us. The strangers will be in our kingdom, but they're going to go through our gate under us. They are not going to rub shoulders with us in the kingdom of heaven. They are not going to be with us. They are not going to tell him, I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, I'm going to share the kingdom with you. No, it's a lie. This is what the Bible is saying right here. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servant and handmaids. The land of the Lord is Jerusalem. Book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 14, just told you that we the, the gate is high. It's our name. The gate is the name of our ancestors. So for them to be in Jerusalem, they are going to be cleaved to us. They are going to serve us. They are going to be our servant. The Bible is making it clear. This is a precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little, there a little. This is how you get the understanding of the Bible. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 10, made it clear. That is how you understand the scriptures. He said it right here, but your so-called fake pastors don't tell you this. They don't teach you this. And the people shall take them and bring them to the, their place and the house of Israel, which is my ancestors and my people, shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captive, whose captive they were. See that? We are their captive. We are enslaved right now. We are at the bottom of the pyramid. We do the menial jobs right now. Everywhere you are, I know that you are doing menial jobs. Most likely, majority of us everywhere we are, we are doing the, ba the based work. Other nations, as I speak to you, are above us. So in our kingdom, they are going to be under us because we serve them. Whose captive they were, and they shall rule over their oppressor. Esau, the so-called white people, is oppressing us now. They, we are going to rule over them. The Bible is not a lie. The Bible does not lie. The Bible is a true book, my people. They don't tell you the truth. This is the truth coming out. 
Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter. Eighteen from three to four, and I read the book of Revelation, chapter eighteen, from three to four, and I read: For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Who is the Bible talking about? This is the book of Revelation. This is the end. It's talking about America. He said, all nations have drunk from their, they, 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 they drunk of their wine of the wrath of half fornications. America, where is World Trade Center? In America, the whole nations have got rich doing business with America. Who is in charge of America? The so-called Idumians, the so-called white people. They are in charge of America. They are running the show. They are the ones that put a lot of black people in jail. The, a lot of Israelites or so-called black people in jail because they know that we are Israelites. That is why they are oppressing us. That is why the scripture said that the people that oppress us in our kingdom, we are going to oppress them. They are the one that is behind our safulani, stealing your oil. They are the one that is oppressing in the entire Africa. The same people that are oppressing you today. That is why in the kingdom of the Messiah God, we are going to oppress them. We are going to be above them. We are going to, they are going to be your servant and handmaids. The Bible made it clear. It's not coming from me. It's coming through me from the Bible. And the matters of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So a voice is telling John in the island of Patmos, telling him that Israelites, the so-called black people, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Stop following the so-called white people or the so-called Idumians or the so-called culture and tradition of other nations. They are corrupt. They don't follow the laws. They engage in homosexual, they engage in different, ugly, unlaw abiding. That means despicable abomination that Mosiah said we should not do. do. They are doing those things. When you follow them and do the same thing, you remain under them. You are not going to receive salvation when Yahweh shall return. So the Bible is telling you to come out of that. Come out of their philosophy. Come out of their vain worship idea. Come out of their Christianity. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not a partaker of her sin, that ye receive not of her plague. Because destruction is coming to them. They know that. They want you to stay with them. That way you will keep doing what they are doing. That way you will keep uh, going around, not knowing who you are as an Israelite. Not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Mosai. You are going to be destroyed when Yahweh shall return. Because you have been warned that you should come out of their military. Come out of them. Come out of her, my people. If you don't, you are going to bear the consequences. Mosai is not going to look at anybody's face because he's not a respecter of any man. You need to understand that Mosai loved Israel and he's going to put Israel back up again. Israel has finished their punishment almost at the end of their punishment. That is why America is about to go to war with Iran. That is a Bible prophecy. And there they are going to meet their Waterloo. That is going to be their end. And Yahweh is going to come. Third World War is knocking at the door. The Bible is a true book, my people. I've never seen any book like this. I've never, since Mosai sent the Ruach to give me the understanding of this Bible, I have never come across any book that come even close to this book. My people, we are the chosen generation. We are the people, all the ancient prophets wish they were here. And I know they are here in other bodies. And they are here still as prophets. They are here still as the servants of the Mosaic God. They are here still in the body of Israelites. And they are the men that are in the highways and byways and in social media prophesizing and teaching people that we need to go back to the law and we need to wake up as Israelites and we need to repent for, from our sins and embrace the Lord, statutes and commandment of our Father, the Elohim of Israel. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Isaiah 66, 15. And I read, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yahweh Shai is coming with the army of angels. They are coming 
They are going to destroy the Idumeans. Esau is in trouble. Other nations that are not keeping the law, they are also in trouble. Even the ones that, are, that, 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 that claim that they are worshipping uh, God by going to all those Christian churches, they are also going to be destroyed. The only people that are going to be left, that are going to be in the chariot, is going to be the elects. The one third of Israel are going to be in the chariot, are going to the scriptures. Other nations will be destroyed. Yes, there are some of them that are going to survive the third world war and also the attack of Yahweh Shai and the angels. And those ones are the ones that are going to go to slavery. Immediately, the third world war ends. Then we are going to come down back from the chariot and put them in slave. They are going to build our, can uh, uh, our kingdom because we are the ones that built their kingdom. Let's go to the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse ten, to prove to you that Yahweh Shai, the Son of the Most High God, whom the Word called Jesus Christ, is coming during the Third World War. Made it clear now that this verse is a proof and a testament that Yahweh Shai is going to come during the Third World War. He says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord." will come as a thief in the night. So the day Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High God, whom the word called Jesus will come, is going to be a surprise like a thief in the night to people that are not watching. It's not going to come as a thief to me because I'm watching and I'm following the prophecy. And other Israelites that are teaching and prophesying on the street corners and on social media, it's not going to be like a thief for them because they are aware. The ones that are going to ignore this message, the ones that are not going to turn a deaf ear and pretend that this does not exist is going to make, take them by surprise. And in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What is going to cause the great noise? A nuclear bomb explosion. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What is going to melt, melt things around you with heat? It's going to be a nuclear explosion. So this is the Third World War. The earth also, okay, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the work that are therein shall be burned up. Things are going to be burned down. Esau, everywhere Esau lives, the angels are going to come there and burn everything down. The thermonuclear explosion will burn things down because Yahweh Shai will come with the angels the same time the bomb explosion. And we are going to be taken out from here. We are going to be in the chariot. I pray that Mosai find mercy on me and my family. And take us out of this place. We pray for mercy. We pray for forgiveness. And we are doing the work to the best we can. That is what you need to be doing. That is why you need to wake up. And stop fooling around. Stop going to those fake churches. And stop associating yourself. With those people that are leading you into sin. Because Israel. The law was given to you. You must keep the law. Or you will be destroyed. One so two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed with the enemies of Israel, with the so called Idumeans. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 1. Remember, Mosai is coming to destroy our enemy as also to give us salvation for those of us that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our living ability. Remember that. So when we come back to him, we are going to receive salvation when he returns. So Luke chapter 1, verse 71, and I read, that we should be saved from our enemies. Christ is coming to save us from our enemies. The so-called black people, who are your enemy? Look around you. Look around you. Who is your enemy? So it makes sense that salvation is only for Israelites. The Bible is consistent. Let them stop deceiving you, man. Open up your mind. Open up your eyes. Our enemies are the people that are oppressing us right now. Christ is coming to save us from the hands of our enemies. And from the hands of the people, all that hate us. All, the whole nation hates the children of Israel. All that hate us. Black people are scattered all over the place. Or the so-called black people. Because black is the color of a crayon. The so-called black people are scattered in all four corners of the globe. He says that Yahweh Shai, the son of the Messiah God, is coming back to save us from the hands of the people that hate us. So who is telling you that salvation is for everybody? Who is telling you that salvation is everybody? They are lying to you. 
Bible is consistent, my people. Share this video, my people. Share this video. We are waking up our people so we can receive salvation and go back to our land where other people will serve us because we have served them enough. We have lived our causes. We have lived our punishment. We have been betrayed. We have been intimidated. We have been embarrassed, disgraced, humiliated, insulted. Name it. Everything in the dictionary has been done to us in all nations, everywhere we are. Look around you. Look at the social media. Uh, watch your news. Every day somebody is getting shot down in the United States of America. Esau is killing us. Why? Because we are the children of the Messiah God. The book of Job chapter 9, verse 24, made it clear that the word has been given into the hands of the wicked. Or, or verse 9, chapter 9, verse 20 or so. The word has been given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges. Who are the judges? Israelites. Because when we go to the kingdom of heaven, we are going to judge the whole nation. We are going to carry out Mosai instructions. Remember, the law was given to us. We are the judges of the world. The law was given to us so we can throw it on them in our kingdom. Let's go to the book of Baruch. The book of Baruch, remember, Israel. Baruch is an is a, is a part of the scriptures, but it's in Apocrypha. So many of you might not know the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha was a book that reveals a little bit more or in-depth of who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are and what is going to happen when Esau. It's about to brought down, or what is going to happen to our enemies. So Esau, the so-called white people, they took that part of the Bible out from the regular Bible. They took it out so people will not read it and understand who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are, and also the punishment that is going to come to Esau and other nations. So let's go to the book of Baruch. The book of Baruch, chapter 2, from verse 30, to 35, and I read. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. Mosai God is saying that he knew that Israel would not listen, because we are stiff-necked people. The so-called black people. He is talking to you. You are Israelites. Everybody knows you are stubborn, because you are stiff-necked. It means stubborn people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Right now, we are still in the land of our captivity. We are remembering ourselves. Prophecy is being fulfilled. And shall know that I am the Lord their God. For I will give them an heart and ear to hear. Right now, I understand. I have woken up as an Israelite. I know and understand the scriptures to the best of my ability. Through the power and the help of the Ruach Kedaks, the Holy Spirit. This is prophecy fulfilled. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That is what the men of the Lord is doing now. We are thinking upon the name of the Messiah God. We are praising him. We are praying to him. He is now in our heart and in our mind. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. Since we've been doing these videos, since we've been standing on the street corners, speaking to people across the globe on the highways and byways, they are waking up to their true identity. People are leaving the so-called fake churches because now the truth is coming out. So the scripture is true. We are now remembering the name of the, our forefather, our, 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 our Elohim. For they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. Remember Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 1 to 2 made it clear that we were going to go back because God will have mercy. This is a precept of that ch chapter. He said it clear that we are going to go back again. So the Bible is always consistent. He did not say Christians will go back. He didn't say all the nations will go back. He said Israel, my people, my people. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their father. Abraham Isaac and Jacob. He made it clear. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He did not say that Christian churches, if you believe in me, you, I will come and take you. No, he made it clear the people that are going back to Jerusalem. We are the people, my people. Abraham means Chukwa Biyama. 
God of Abraham, Chuku Abiyama, Isaac and Jacob, Jacob, they shall be the Lord of it. You see that? He said, we shall be the Lord of the kingdom of heaven, the land that he already promised to Abraham. And the Bible was consistent in Isaiah 14 from 1 to 2. He said that we, other people will cleave unto us. And Jeremiah, uh, the book of Revelation, made it clear that people are going to, in our, made it clear that in our kingdom, he's going to have 12 gates. So we are the Lord of it. 12 gates, people are going to come into the kingdom of heaven through us. And they are going to be servants and handmaids. So they are not receiving any salvation. We are going to receive the salvation. They are going to be our mates. You don't receive salvation and become a slave again. It doesn't make sense. They are going to be under subjection, under us. So they are not receiving any salvation. They are going to receive captivity. And they shall be the Lord of it. And I will increase them. You see, but that shows that Israel is poor now. We are only going to be increased. For those of you chasing millions of dollars right now in Esau's kingdom, you are wasting your time, man. You go out there and take care of your responsibility. You don't chase for wealth, for billion and billion of dollars. This is not your rest. This is not your kingdom. The kingdom is designed for Esau. That is why Esau lived on the large places. That is why Esau lived on the best places in the world. That is why Esau, this is his kingdom. His time is up. His time is up. He has been enjoying his kingdom. We build his kingdom. He makes a whole lot of sense, man. And they shall not be diminished. That means we are not going to be diminished. Nobody can kill all of us. Nobody, no matter what they plan. God already told them we cannot be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. So our, another covenant is going to be made again when we come back from our punishment. According to the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Open your Bible and read. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. And they shall be my people. And I will, be, no, I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I, gave, I, I have given them. So we are not leaving Israel again once we go back. That is when the world will enjoy peace. But we are going to be in charge. We are going to rule all nations. We are going to control all of them from Jerusalem. The king of kings will be there. Yahweh Shai, the son of the Mosai God. Remember, when he comes back with the angels, he's going to stay with us. He's going to be in Jerusalem while we go and run the affairs of the world and bring it down to him in Jerusalem. We are the chosen people, my people. Don't get it twisted. Mosai does not lie. The Elohim of Israel does not make mistake. This is the time for you to repent, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, teach your family members, teach the ones you love that wants to hear and listen, let them know that time is up, that they need to wake up because destruction is coming. The Third World War is about to start. America is playing their card very well. Other nations are playing their card very well because the, the Bible says that they, they are, we are going to be gathered in the mountain of Jehoshaphat, which is the Middle East. That is where the war will start. Right now, America is about to kick it off with the Iranians. Iranians and Russia are the Gog and Magog in the Bible. That is why they are opposing the Americans. My people, the Bible is a true book. Israel, wake up. Wake up, Israel. Your time of salvation is at hand. Wake up and come out of her, my people. Do not be a partaker of their sin because they are going to use you. Once Yahweh shall return, He's going to fight the army. The Bible called them the angels of the beast. They are going to go and fight Yahweh Shai. If you don't come out from those places, you are going to be destroyed, man. You are going to be destroyed. Let's go to another verse in the Bible right now. All praise to the Messiah, Yahweh the Elohim of Israel. God is great. God is good. Let's go to the book of Baruch. Again, book of Baruch. Chapter 4, 27 to 29. Like I said, Baruch is the Bible in the old. The Bible is actually the, the ancient. Uh, if you look at, uh, if you if you go on online, you can find the, the Bible when it comes to 
uh, New uh, King James Version, not New King James, King James Version, 1611 King James Version. You will get both the Apocrypha and the regular Bible all together. So let's read. All praise to the Most High. Be of good comfort, O my children. This is Most High talking to the so-called black people that are scattered in all four corners of the world, that are being killed, subjugated, marginalized, intimidated all over the nation where you are. God is telling you, be of good comfort, O my children. Who is the children of God? Israelites. And cry unto God. God is saying, cry unto him. Be of France. God is telling you to cry unto him. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought thee, of him that brought these things upon you. Aousa Fulani is killing Biafras. God brought it upon Biafras because their forefathers disobeyed Mosai. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandment of the Mosai God, it was our decision to do that. That's why he punished us. So being returned, seek him ten times more. Mosai is asking us to come back to him and seek him ten times more. I don't know about you. Me and my children, we are seeking God to the best we can. You need to do the same, my people. So being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that had brought these plagues upon you. See that? The plagues that we are going through in Nigeria, the plagues that we are going through in America, the plagues that we are going through in South Cameroon, the plague that we are going through in South Sudan, the plague that we are going through in India, the plagues that we are going through all over the world. Mosai said he brought it to us. You sh I brought it upon you, shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. He said, I am the one that brought these things to you. I am also the one that is going to relieve you from it and give you everlasting salvation. So salvation is only for Israel, for France, for the so-called black people. Salvation is only for you. Stop letting your church deceive you, man. Open your Bible and read. Pray and fast so you get understanding. The Bible is clear. This is why they took this chapter verses away from the regular Bible. Because it tells you who we are. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. So no man born of a woman is going to go there and bring you salvation from our suffering. It's not going to happen. Bible says that God is the one who is going to bring the salvation. And he's going to send Yahweh his son, the king of all kings. Nobody else. The Bible has already made it clear how we are going to be saved from the hands of the people that hate us. Black people are the most hated people on this planet. Israel, listen to me, man. Listen to me, my people. Listen to me. Love is correction. We are correcting you now to check your lifestyle and repent and come back to the Elohim of Israel. Because destruction is coming. Billions of people are going to die. This is about to happen. You will remember that we warned you. You will remember these days that we have been prophesying and teaching you the truth according to the scriptures. You will remember because very soon the men of the Lord will receive spiritual powers because we are going to stand against the enemy of Israel. Because very soon they will come after us. And we know that. And that will mark the end of other nations reign over Israel. According to the scriptures. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 51. Verse 11. All praise to the Most High. I hope you have your pen and pad ready. I hope you have your scripture, Bible, King James Version ready. So let's read. Therefore, the Redeemer of the Lord shall return. The Redeemer of the Lord shall return. Who is going to return? Yahweh Shai with the army of angels and come with singing unto Zion. And uh, Okay, the Redeemer of the Lord shall return. That means the people that Mosiah is going to redeem, which is Israel. But we are going to be redeemed by Yahweh Shai, the son of the Mosiah God. 
we shall return and will come with singing unto Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. So we are going to come with singing and rejoicing. We are going home. We are going to have everlasting joy. It's going to be on our head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Israel, be our friends. We know you are under stress. We know you are being killed. We know that you are under subjection. You will know that you are under mourning. Israel, everywhere we are, we are mourning. Go to Haiti. We are mourning. Everywhere we are, we are mourning. We, we fill up the prison's yards. He says, uh, the sorrow will flee away from us. We are going to rejoice. That is the salvation, people. That is the salvation. My people, wake up. Nobody born of a woman that is alive here today will get you freedom from Aosa Fulani. The person is deceiving you. They don't know their Bible or they have sold their soul to the devil. Either way, they are lying to you. Let's keep going. All praise to the Most High. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 14. Salakia. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. Revelation 2.26. Israel, please write this information down. This is important if you don't have a Bible with you. And he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations with a plural. So the kingdom of heaven is only for the people that will rule over other nations. Makes sense. So who among Israel that overcome it, that kept the law to the end and did the work of the Most High God? They are going to be the ones that have power to rule other nations. This is what we are fighting for. This is what we are looking for. This is what we are waiting for. This is what we are assigned to do. So we will be able to inherit and be in position to receive powers over other nations. So we can do the will of our Father. He that overcometh and keepeth my walk unto the end. That means you need to be keeping the commandment to the best you can. To the end. Don't go back to the world. Don't go back. Stay strong. To whom will I give power over the nations? We will be rewarded, Israel. We will be rewarded. We will be rewarded for what we are doing. Families don't like our teachings. Friends and families left us. People call us all sorts of names because we are prophesying and teaching the truth according to the scriptures. Many of us are risking our life, our freedom to prophesy and teach the truth according to the scriptures. All your fake pastors are not allowed to do that because they are busy collecting tithes. They are busy pleasing the slave master. So the slave master will not shut them down. We do not have anything to lose because we are working for Yahweh Shai. Our reward is in our kingdom. This is exactly what this chapter is for. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works. What is the works? The commandment and prophesying and teaching the truth. Unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. That is when we are going to receive our reward. Your fake pastors are receiving their reward now from your bank account into their own pocket. Wake up, foolish people. Wake up. Wake up. It's only foolishness that will make a man lose your soul and lose your family souls or the souls of your family members by you being so stubborn that you don't see the truth right before your eyes. We are reading these things from the Bible. You need to wake up, people. Repent. Mosai is calling you back. Israel, come out of her. Come out. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 29 and I read and everyone that had forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father 
or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundred foes and shall inherit everlasting life. Some of us, our wife has left us because we are keeping the commandments of the Most High God. Some of us, we are having problems in our family because of the law of status and commandment of the Most High God that we are following. Some of our family members think we are lying. They think that we are deceived. They think that we are making mistakes. Why? They don't know that they are the one that is ruined. So when we go all this subjection and rejection, we are going to receive hundred foes. We are going to have hundreds and thousands of children in the kingdom. Because the tutor that is going to be destroyed, we will come back in our loins. We are going to have many children and the Israelites that are going to die during the third world war, they are going to come back through us into the kingdom. And when they are coming, they are going to be programmed to know the law from birth, so they will not argue again. That is what the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31. I will put my laws in their inward part. So when they are born in the kingdom, they are going to know the law. So they will not have stupid arguments in the kingdom. Because everybody will keep the law in the kingdom. If you are not keeping the law in the kingdom and you are other nations, you will be destroyed instantly. But Israel will keep the law because it's going to be inward. Bible makes a lot of sense. Bible is the best book. I love this book so much because it makes us stand out above other nations. That is why they don't like this Bible. That is why in Canada, they, they have taken the Bible out of the schools. What a shame that the word of God is taken away where our children learn. But they still have Halloween practices in those schools. What a shame. Let's go to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms chapter 37, verse 1. And I read, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So those of you that you want to make it, you want to make money, you want to do this, you want to do that, don't because of the bad things evil doers, the bad things people are doing. Don't because of it and go and soil your hand. Focus. You need to have a foresight. Focus on the kingdom of heaven. Be content with what you have. Do not go and try to be like other people. Do not go and join 419 or 4110 or money rituals, all those rubbish that our people do, most especially the ones that are living back in Africa. Even in Haiti, they are doing it there. Don't sow your hand. Don't go stealing. Don't lie because of money or because of opportunity. Because if you do that, destruction is coming to you. We are getting people to salvation. Don't go back to iniquities. Let's go to the book of, I believe it's Psalm 16.4. All praise to the Most High. I hope you are writing these informations down, my people. Okay, let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 24. Verse 30, and I read, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the cloud of heaven with power and great glory. My people, that time is almost here. He's going to come with the so-called UFO. Is the angels. Yahweh Shai is going to come in the spaceship. The Bible called it the cloud. All the tribe of the earth will mourn. Why are they going to be mourned? They are going to be mourned because every nation on the planet is in subjection, is enslaving the children of Israel. The black people are in their nation working the menial jobs. We came to the all corners of the world through slavery. So they are still 
our slave masters, even though they are prophesizing freedom to you, you are still under the subjection of doing the menial jobs and the lowest work in their nations. Your ancestors came here through slavery. So they are going to mourn because destruction is coming to them. They are going to, the United Nations is going to be destroyed. Israel is going to rise. The so-called black people are going to rule over the whole world again. Because we did it during the time of the Moors in Europe. We rule over Europe. We did it during the time of Solomon. We are going to do it again. And this time it's going to be forever. That is why Esau is not happy. Because Esau is definitely going to be destroyed after 1,000 years of slavery under Israel. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And I read, And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you need to be converted in your mind, because children, it's easy for children to believe anything you tell them. It's easy for them to change their mind. That is why he says you will be like children. He's talking about the children's mind. So you need to be converted. You need to repent and convert your mind. And stop believing in those so-called fake white Jesus. And remember that the book of Revelation chapter, uh, chapter 1 from 14 to 15 said that Christ is a black man. You need to change your mindset. You need to know that Christianity is fraud and come back to the Lord, statutes and commandments of the Messiah God. You need to come be converted. That is how you're going to receive the salvation. If not, you are not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You are not coming into that gate. You are going to be destroyed. The Bible is making it clear. And the man of the Lord is prophesying and teaching these scriptures. So you will not say you, are not, you, you, you weren't told. You will not say that you, you did not understand. If you are watching me, this is an opportunity for you to wake up and repent and be converted by the renewal of your mind. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10 to 12. And I read, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Israel, the Bible is telling you to get up, get the hell up, and depart from these people. This is not our rest, man. This is not a rest. We are in slavery. This is not a rest because it is polluted. This place is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a saw a saw destruction. If you don't get up from these people, Stop all those religions. Get out from those churches and get out from these people. What is going to happen to you is that you are going to be destroyed with a saw, a bad one, a bad destruction, saw destruction. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of his people. I will surely assemble all Jacob of all, uh, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnants of Israel. The remnants are the ones, the one third of Israel. They are going to be gathered in all four corners of the globe by the angels, whom the world called the UFO. I will put them together as the sheep of Bosa, as the rock, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. We are going to be praising Most High when this happens. We are going to make great noise. The whole world will watch us ascend to that chariot. Because the ones that are going to die because of this are going to be in the chariot waiting for us to arrive. The dead in Christ shall rise first. We are going to be in the chariot. The ones that are going to die because of this are going to be in the chariot. Mosai will choose who that will happen to, who will die for this walk, and who will be alive for this walk, or who will receive spiritual power to fight the enemies. Mosai will decide that. But we are letting you know what is about to unfold. Israel, be France, your salvation is coming. Do not be afraid. Mosai God can never be mocked.
Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 19, from 16 to 26. All praise to the Most High Yahweh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God, which is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. If you will get into the kingdom, you must keep the commandments to the best you can. This is the New Testament. For those of you that say that the Old Testament has been made away with, or the law has been made away with, you need to shut your mouth before Mosai rubbed that mouth for you. You cannot twist the Bible and expect to receive salvation. For you to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you must keep the commandments. The Bible made it clear. He said unto him, Which? Yahweh said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not be a false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou and thou shalt love thy neighbor as yourself. The neighbor is talking about is Israelite. Your neighbor is Israelites. Get it to, don't get it twisted. The Bible made it clear. I have a lot of precept on that. As thyself. And the young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from thy youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when, he, when the young man ha, uh, had that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great oppositions. The man is a greedy man. He has a lot of possessions. He doesn't help his brother. He doesn't love his brother. Love thy neighbor as yourself. His neighbors are poor. He's rich. He wants to get into the kingdom of heaven. Mosai told him, you are not going in there. Because you are not going to do what I told you to do. He walked away. He didn't want to sell his position and give to the poor. And Yahweh said, so, uh, uh, Then said Yahweh unto his disciples, Verily, verily, I say unto you, That a rich man, shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because rich men are greedy. They choose money over love. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So most people that are going to get into that kingdom are not going to be wealthy people because they will not give up. They will be envious. They will be greedy. They will be selfish. They will not have time to do the work of the Messiah God. They will not be able to build up their treasure here. When these disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? Yahweh, but Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Why? Because Messiah is the one that is going to choose who among us that is going to be saved? Why? Because our name has already been written in the book of life, even before we were born on this earth. But none of the people that are going to be saved will not be keeping the law. Not 100%, but to your best of ability. That is why he says that we are going to be saved under grace. Because you are going to be keeping the law, but because of you are keeping the law, Yahweh Shai has already given his blood. He has already purchased the elects. He has already made a sacrifice for the elects. But the elects are going to end their stripes by doing the work now. They are the one waking the people up now. They are doing the work of heaven now. The elects are going to sacrifice a lot before Yahweh Shai comes. But they have already been chosen. Not because of their command, the commandment they are keeping. Not because uh, of anything. But because Yahweh Shai has already purchased their soul with his blood. So he will rule in the kingdom of heaven with them. That is the truth of the scriptures, my people. Stop listening to all those fake, fake Christian churches. Right now, 
One more verse. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. And I read, all praise to the Most High Yahweh, the yellow me today. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. The scriptures are very clear. You are not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven if you are not keeping the kingdom, uh, commandments of the Most High God to the best you can. And Yahweh is telling you, if you love me, keep the commandments of the Messiah. If you don't keep the commandments of the Messiah, you're not going to enter into that gate. Well said. Thank you, Israel, for staying true, watching the truth come out. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. And the enemies of Israel, which is other nations, they are going to be subjected to slavery. Once Yahweh Shai returns. So you need to pray for World War III. You need to pray that for God, Most High God forgives you your sin and gives you the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures so you can teach and prophesy the scriptures in truth and in spirit. All praise to the Most High Yahweh. Shalom Israel. I will see you guys all Israel, uh, all the elects. I will see you in Zion. Bye for now.